<laughs> so I'm going to review this today. Um, my wife can put a photo in there. I was going to dig it out of the uh, recycling <laughs> uh, can that we have over there. But we just finished a bottle of Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones's? Dr. Jones, whatever. Um, charcoal mouthwash. Now, the reason why I'm not digging it out of there for proof um, is because what I'm going to say about it. So people, you know, if I don't have it here, they, if I'm talking shit about it, people are going to be like, oh, you don't even have it. But I'm not going to talk shit about it. I'm going to talk a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's what it looks like. Activated charcoal mouthwash. Now, when we first tried that, I'm going to be honest with you, it is sweet as fuck, right? It's very sweet. It's very sweet. This is around $13 a bottle for around 16 ounces, around the same size as this. Now, so I didn't want to order from Alex again because, you know, that's that's you, anyone who knows this uh, Dr. Jones's, you know, Alex, AJ from that show that you can't mention anything about it because they'll fucking block your shit and remove you. But, um... It was like uh, th it's like thirteen dollars a bottle, and it, then their chart there's no free shipping option. So I said no. So I said I can go for this, and if I'm repeating shit, sorry because I don't know where we left off, uh, what I said on the first video. So they had this option. It was it seems like similar to to the jo Dr. Jones formula. Dr. Jones, I seen zinc and like mint in there, oil from uh, mint, something like peppermint or spearmint, something like that. This one it's uh, tea tree oil. There's no zinc. Um, so, <clears throat> um, I said, I'm going to try this. Now, the Jones, Dr. Jones, one bottle, same size as this, around 16 ounces. Um, it's for like 13 bucks. Now this, you can buy three of these damn bottles for $17 on Amazon or you know, some you know, sites like that. So I said, okay, let's see. Now, this seems like a big brand. It seems like a good brand. I've tried toothpaste from them before. Nothing to like, you know, write home about, but it's pretty good. Now, I said, I, I just want to try one. I don't want to pay the full 17 So we went to the store. They had one bottle. And I said, this is God helping me out here. Thank you, God. For five and change. And I said, okay, get a single. Test it out. So I already know how the charcoal mouthwashes work. You really got to shake them like a lot. So what we just did in the video that didn't record, shook it a lot and I poured it out here. Okay. So this is the color. And it's a lot darker than I thought, okay? But if you see online, it's it's kind of like a grayish color, you know, when you're pouring it out, stuff like that, okay? So, but it's, you know, here in my hand, it's, it's pretty dark, okay? Now, it makes me feel a little bit better, and you know what? Maybe that stuff was caked onto the bottom, and I just couldn't get it out, you know? But I did shake it every time I used it. I used it twice already. I shook the hell out of it. So, the Dr. Jones's formula, you'll actually see because it's a clear bottle. This is black plastic, so it's a little bit, you know, deceiving in my opinion. Maybe they just did that because people would have been, you know, uh, put off by, you know, like the color. Oh, it looks like dirty water or something like that, whatever. So, the Dr. Jones's formula, they don't hide anything. Now, if you leave that overnight, you're going to go back to that bottle and you're going to see a layer on the bottom of the Dr. Jones's. You know, you're going to see a pretty thick layer of charcoal. You gotta shake it for a while. Um, now, I'm gonna get into this really quick, which is not quick, it's never quick. Um, when I purchased that Dr. Jones formula, I purchased the coral toothpaste that they also uh, offer, and I purchased the Dr. Jones's charcoal toothpaste. Now, the coral toothpaste, he said it was like concentrated, and that's bullshit. It's it's watery, it, it's, it's very thin, it's not a thick paste. Um, and it seems like you got to put a lot, but it, it seems like there is like very little bubbles. It seems like you're brushing your teeth with like fucking water. So I didn't even want to try purchasing that again. The charcoal toothpaste, not a great flavor. And it seemed kind of thin as well. It's, it's, it's not thick. It's not like very bubbly, um, or foamy or whatever you want to call it. So my wife wasn't a fan of the flavor, the smell of that one. Now the Dr. Jones's mouthwash. The mouthwash, I didn't appreciate it because, like, like for me, I tossed it to the side. I said, it's too sweet. It's very sweet. And I said, I don't like shit like that. That seems, like, not good. 
Now, they're not using like sugar to sweeten it, but I just tossed it to the side. I said, eh. However, we've been trying different toothpastes. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this, Dr. Jones's. Let's just use it. Let's finish it. And I started noticing. how What I really, what I do to test anything I'm using, toothpaste or mouthwash, is I, I gauge it by like how I used to have my, the experiences I had with Colgate Total. When Colgate Total came out, I would brush my teeth before bed. I wake up, my breath still was like fresh. I could go like, there was times that I, I wake up, fresh breath, it still feels good. And before I know it, before I knew it, it was already midday, I didn't even brush my teeth and I'm like, shit, like it's still good. And I actually, and I'm not like bragging about this, but <laughs> that sounds like, uh, like I picked that up from AJ. <laughs> but people actually told me like well what am I doing because you know like my sister she was like going to the dentist all the time and she's using all these different things you know and I said oh, I just brush my teeth I clean my tongue really well that's it well it was a toothpaste now I heard bad things about that like fluoride we don't use anything with fluoride and if you do and if you're a big like a supporter of that great and I know a lot of people are gonna say well you don't know what you're doing I'll fine i understand that if you if you know all this kind of stuff and your dentists and they say all this kind of shit i i get that everyone does what they want to do they're their own people their own person whatever you know like you live and you learn or whatever okay I, you know i know people that they brush with f fluoridated <laughs> toothpaste whatever you want to say and uh they actually seems like they hold the toothpaste in their mouth and and i can see their teeth they use listerine as well but it seems like their teeth are getting kind of like uh gray like it seems like it's not as i don't know what to say like it mm -hmm. seems like th their teeth aren't as dense i guess you can say like you know i i don't know what would what, what you can say like it's it's like maybe getting like transparent or something like that or translucent i can't say i mean and i know people that use fluoridated like uh fluoride toothpaste whatever you want to call it or whatever you want to say and their teeth break and i'm not trying to say mine won't okay i know my teeth will i can like feel it i already know so i i know mine are going to as well um most likely i guess but so i'm testing these like uh, different toothpastes okay and i i think this is where i was i don't know <laughs> so i said i'm gonna brush and i'm gonna get this uh some of the mouthwashes we have out of the way so Dr. Jones was the first one up. And I'm trying it with the old toothpaste, which was like a store brand, like a, uh, what do you call it? No fluoride, non-fluoridated, whatever, toothpaste, right? So I said, is it the toothpaste that I don't like where I'm waking up in the morning and it's just not a fresh feeling? So I tried Dr. Jones's with the new toothpaste from like Himalayan or Himalaya and i'm like i woke up in the morning and i'm like wow my breath feels great it must be this toothpaste because i tried the mouthwash and i you know i didn't think anything of it didn't seem special so then a couple days later i switched to the older toothpaste which was like a nature's i don't know it's like a store brand and i got the same experience i said feels great like i wake up and seems like not an issue i said so it's the mouthwash it's the charcoal now, Dr. Jones also has, compared to this Hello brand, has zinc and like some kind of mint oil in there. So, like I said, I went to the store, picked up this one bottle, and I compared it, and I said, yeah, online it does look like a grayer kind of liquid compared to Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones has seemed like a much blacker liquid. So I tried this, and the first day, this, this one uses tea tree, and it is very strong. kind of burns your mouth. It's very minty, um, like from the tea tree, I guess. I mean, it's like cold is, it is very damn cold, like after you, you know, rinse. And it seems like it's strong. It stays in your mouth for a while, like strong. And, but when I woke up, the same feeling wasn't there. It wasn't as fresh as the Dr. Jones's formula. So, I do have a fine uh, charcoal powder here that I am going to maybe add to this and i do have mint oil uh like a peppermint oil that i'll try adding to this and maybe i'll update if i have 
good results with it. Um, because we used to make our own toothpastes and shit like that, you know. Um, so I have a lot of stuff here that we used to use for that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to maybe do an update video if it does work out. Because if three bottles for $17 of this compared to $13 of the Dr. Jones's. If I could just add a little something to this and get a good experience as well. But you see, Dr. Jones's didn't have like a tea tree. So I don't know if that's going to affect it. So I'm just looking for like a, a, a fresher experience when I wake up. And I have a feeling it's going to be the zinc. Maybe. Why uh, Dr. Jones's is like a little bit better. Um, it could be the amount of charcoal. I don't know. But like I said, I already have my bottle there prepared. So I'm just going to fill it up with more of this uh, Hello. And then I'm going to put a couple drops of uh, mint. And a little bit more of the... Uh, charcoal maybe and i'll see how it goes that's why i said like in the beginning i'm not going to go and fish the doc empty dr jones's out of the recycling bin uh because i wasn't going to talk shit here about it i talk shit about the coral toothpaste that he offers on that site aj offers i didn't like it at all it wasn't good at all like i i don't if that shit was like maybe two bucks I, I would take it but you know it's not good in my opinion the charcoal toothpaste Again, my wife doesn't like that either, so I'm, I, I wouldn't bother with that shit. But the mouthwash seems very good, and in my opinion, it blows this uh, hello shit out of the water. Because with the Dr. Jones, I would wake up feeling fresh, and I before I knew it, it was like hours later, and I'm like, shit, I didn't even brush my teeth, and my, my breath's still great, no problems. So, uh, being a coffee drinker, you know, if I don't... I got to make sure my, my mouth at the end of the day is very, very, you know, clean because that coffee shit will, or the creamer and all that kind of stuff, you know, it, it'll make for like some sour, you know, breath and shit like that. So like I said, Dr. Jones's does a really, really good job. Um, <laughs> we don't have the bottle here, but maybe my wife can insert that little uh, picture in the corner, you know, to make sure everyone knows. But so far... Um, trying this hello uh if it's going to be this versus dr jones now this is around five six bucks compared to dr jones which is double you know but yeah dr jones is much better than this